So if you've ever browsed the weird electronics that are on Amazon, you might come across something like this. This is the Acaso DL9 10 inch rear view uh, mirror dash cam all in one combo thingy together. This is not a video that I normally do of course, but they reached out to me asking me to just review it. They're not paying to sponsor this video and I actually needed one for this car. So it's like, yeah, sure, why not? Cool, company, company recognized me, sent me something, it's nice. It's real nice. So we're gonna go ahead and open this, set it up, and just do a quick little review. <laughs> oh. I've already unboxed this like four or five times now. I just keep messing up the recording. So this is this is what it looks like, and this is what all the garbage stuff in the background looks like. And there you guys are. Hi. We got a nifty little uh, camera on the back, so this will sit on the mirror up here itself. It just attaches to whatever mirror you got, which I. You know, I wasn't looking for anything crazy to install. My electronics knowledge is is pretty basic for cars. Got into remote starts a little bit, but it's besides the point. We got a touchscreen dealy here, um, and this is also doubles up as a display for the rear view camera and the front facing camera. And it's also a dash cam. If your car gets in an accident, it'll do a loop recording and stuff like that. So super cool to have. I'm not gonna go through everything that they have in the box. If you want, look at the Amazon description, basically just a backup camera. Um, power and they did include a little uh, micro SD card which is actually super handy 32 gig one so you don't even have to buy that they also make like really cheap budget-friendly uh, action cameras and if they want to send me one I would totally be okay with that so let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out and we're gonna install it this is a little camera we need to mount this roughly in here a um, little waterproof housing I noticed there's a little screw here so I gotta try and get that off and I have a feeling this isn't gonna go very well. I already tried unscrewing it, but it's like, it just spins. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Neat. So we'll run this through here. Oh, look at that, I don't even have to drill anything. And we're gonna put a couple of screws here and we're gonna angle it right. And then we'll have a backup camera. Flawless, except, except now this wonderful addition to our scratches all over this thing. Oh God. It started completely spinning the stick tape. I know I don't need the stick tape with the screws there, but I kind of just wanted to like put both. It should be way back here, not up here. <laughs> it looks so dumb. <laughs> it looks <laughs> It looks like a security camera, like an obvious fake security camera. I guess we'll move it and leave the holes there. <laughs> hey, I'm not an electronics installer, like I said. But you just said you're a pro. Did I say that? I didn't say that. I tint windows. See, this stupid ass hole is just slightly too big. I don't know. I don't have a good idea for this. Why is it being extra dumb? I am not gonna be a full-time electronics installer. Well, got it. The sad thing is the battery is basically dead now. We are secured. Look at that. Perfect, 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's still ugly. But yeah, if I'm gonna leave one screw, I could totally put it back farther here. But we're just gonna leave it for now. Yeah. Just doing a basic review of this is just not very exciting. Part of this has gotta be installation too, cause like, what if a window tinner wants to install? <laughs> God, these are like the dumbest things. Whatever. These are all the taillights on this. These are really easy to get to on this car, which is fantastic. So I have an easy time with this. So now I need to wire up this. This is a remote wire for the backup camera. So as soon as we throw it into reverse, reverse? As soon as we throw it into reverse, it picks up a signal on this wire and then tells the mirror to flip between the reverse camera and the regular camera. So that's super dope. They should take a meter to it, but Know where my meter is. It's been years since, yay! Look at that. So this one right here, this is the reverse 
So I need to tap into that one. I'm like five years, no, 10 years, no, nine. Let's say nine years out of practice with most of this stuff. See, I used to do a little bit of electronic work. So I know about splicing and like some basic shit, but I just don't do this. Ta-da! I shouldn't be doing this. That. How about that? Look at that. And then look at this back. We're gonna see if this functions first. Let's see if it starts out. <gasps> it put on lines. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. I think it's working. Oh look, there we go. So look, I got one camera here. Da -da. Let's put it in reverse. <gasps> no shit. That's dope. I like that. Okay, cool. Now let's get this thing all buttoned up. Primo fishing gun here. There's little spikies on these floor mats. Why are they upside down? I'm trying to fish a wire under the hinge. So we gotta like leave enough here to like button this up there. Just jam this down here. It's really just a matter of tucking shit so you can't see it. We are gonna have to figure out what to do with all this extra wire though. <laughs> Sunroofs are so helpful for filming. <laughs> Judging on how long this took already. We'll come back to it and we'll do like just dedicated power. And then for now we'll just, oh, it's so ugly. I hate it. Nah, I gotta go all around here. I gotta go down there and I gotta go all the way over and then just to come back. I hate car electronics. This is why I tend. And then something like this. But it holds, look at that. This is just on there. That's your, that's your mirror now. Where's that helpful orange shit that they gave me? I found it. I am super appreciative that they gave me this little orange thing because this is actually super helpful for all of this. You should have one going into this. You think this is gonna scare any potential business owner right now? They're just like, holy fuck. Or do you think they're just gonna be like, stick to tinning? Look, so professional. The car works! Oh! It's on! That's the, that's the back! And then if we do this, we get the front, and then we can adjust it. The camera adjusts independently too, which is super dope. Um, oh, it's got a cover. So it's probably a little blurry. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Ooh! Oh, that looks more clear! Oh, look at that. It like. You can move it however you want. I mean, this is got, I, I don't know how to adjust this quite other than, oh look, oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's better. That's more, it's still not, still not straight. We'll figure it out. It's also like way over on one side. So then you do this and you can see behind, I, I don't know if that's, we're gonna have to move this outside and then see how everything stacks up. All right, so we're doing backup practice right now. She's trying to get her driver's license. There's a couple things that I wanted to point out that I didn't like as much as what I thought I would. First being, it's a mirror and a screen at the same time. So that basically adds up to really severe reflections coming off of it when you're trying to use it as a screen. So if you have it facing out your back window, which is how you use it um, as just a mirror, there's too much light coming through and it just makes it near impossible to see the screen even if you turn the brightness all the way up at the same time you're trying to see out the back so what we ended up doing was facing it down and just using the rear view camera as our mirror and i like that way way more you have such a wide angle that you can really see cars in your blind spots um, without having to turn your head very much at all and as soon as it seems like they leave the camera to pass you then they're in your uh, peripheral vision. So that's been super helpful. I feel a lot safer um, driving around like that than even what I do in my Explorer. So it's been really helpful overall. Anytime we go to start up the car, it fires right up, starts simultaneously recording. It's got nifty features to go through the footage and you can lock files. Um, so if you're in an accident or if you leave the car sitting and somebody bumps it, it'll automatically start recording 
um, and just generally it's always recording unless you tell it not to. Feel a lot safer overall with a device like this. It's super easy to install. Mine is all the times that I screwed up with the camera, but they have a couple of uh, spots that you can mount it. If you want to mount it on the very back of the car you can and then they also recommend mounting it up here on the rear headliner to look through the back window and that would actually be decent one of the last things that i really want to bring up that it feels like they put a lot of thought into this device is it's got two modes for the reverse camera so you have your regular driving mode and you can swipe up and down on the screen to readjust it it has a feature where it'll remember where you last left it. So you swipe up and down, set your angle, and it'll automatically readjust, put the lines up um, for reversing. So that's super nifty. But the downside to this reverse camera is it's such a wide angle. Um, it's almost deceiving. And so you can see a whole lot, but it looks like you're closer a lot of times than you are. And so we'll look out the back and think that we're basically butt up against where we are. And then uh, we won't be like, we'll still have three feet worth of space in between us and the car behind us or the garage or wherever we're trying to park. So that's really the last thing that I want to bring up. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. I'd love to do a lot more of these obscure um, tech reviews for car stuff. Leave a thumbs up or a comment below of what you thought. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.